Hello, let's look at this example. In a basketball arena, 70% of the fans are rooting for the home team. 25% of the fans are wearing blue. 20% of the fans are wearing blue and are rooting for the away team. Of the fans rooting for the away team, 67% are wearing blue. Let A be the event that the fan is rooting for the away team and B be the event that the fan is wearing blue. Are the events rooting for the away team and wearing blue independent? Are they mutually exclusive? All right, so let's figure out this puzzle. Okay, so to check for independence, All right, we can do a numerical check. All right, this P, A, and B is the same as P, A times P, B, then they're independent. Okay, so do I have P, A, and B? So A is rooting for the away team and B is the fan is wearing blue. So 20% of the fans are wearing blue and are rooting for the away team. So this means that P, A, and B is equal to 0.2. Okay, so we have that one. All right. 70% of the fans are rooting for the home team. So this is like P of A prime. All right, so is 0.7 which means that P of A is going to be 0.3. Now I'm making an assumption here that whoever's going to the basketball arena are either gonna root for the home team or the away team, like there's no undecideds. Okay, so there's that assumption there. Uh, let's see, B, the fan is wearing blue. So P of B, is 0 0.25. I don't know if I can make this ass assumption. Let's see what else I have here. Maybe, maybe I don't have to make this assumption. Let's see what this says. Of the fan root, fans rooting for the eight away team, 67% are wearing blue. So this is saying probability of B given A is equal to 0.67. All right, let's, uh, maybe let's not make this assumption because I'm not sure if this is true. I'm not sure if I can say that um, they're the same thing. All right, so I'm not gonna call it A prime. All right, let's see. Um, so another way to test for independence is through the conditional. Uh, if I can say that P of B given A is the same as P of B, then they are independent. Okay, so P of B given A is 0 0.67, but P of B is 0.25. They're not equal to each other, so not independent. All right, are they mutually exclusive? Okay, we check this if P, A, and B equals zero, then they're mutually exclusive, but we know that P a and B is equal to 0.2, so not mutually exclusive. 